Hello, Adegwen Roche is my name, service engineer. Welcome to another how-to series. Today we'll be talking about shutdown alarms and the functions of the panel button. This is the panel. I'm starting with the green button here. The green button here is used to start the engine while the engine is at rest. Now we have the stop button here. The stop button is the red button. It's used to stop the engine while the engine is in operation. You have the white button here, which we call the auto button. The auto button is used when you want to control the engine remotely. You have this up and down arrow button. It's used to scroll to check the engine parameter. And as well, when you press the two simultaneously, we use it to check the event log on the panels. Now, lastly, on the button, you have this red knob, which is the emergency button. The emergency button is engaged to stop the engine only during the case of emergency. Now, let's talk about the shutdown alarms on these panels. When a shutdown alarm is present on the panel, you have this red line blinking. And when the red line is blinking, when you check at the right side of your panel, you see a symbol. The symbol that is showing at the right side of your panel indicates the shutdown alarm present on this panel. The symbol will tell you exactly why the engine shut down. For example, if you engage the emergency button, you can see you have this red light blinking at stop button. Now, you cannot reset the panel until you have disengaged the emergency button. Let's see if you try to press this red button twice, it will not clear. Until when you turn it clockwisely and you now press this red button twice, you can see the alarm has disappeared and this red button has stopped blinking. Now, in the case where your engine shut down and when you get there, you have mistakenly pressed the red button twice, you didn't know what really shut the alarm down. You can actually go and check the memory to know the alarm list on the panel. How do you check alarms and as well log events? on the panel. You come here and press this up and down button together simultaneously. You have an icon displaying on the panel. Press this down button for the icon to turn. Then you scroll until you have the symbol that looks like a book at the center of the panel and it will enlarge. You press this auto once to select it. Then when you select it, it will show you the last 50 alarms present on this panel. You can see the last shutdown present on this panel is emergency at nine minutes. You need to rectify the four before you clear the alarm. Then if you want to know the one that happened before this one over 50, you press the hold button, which will show you two over 50. Then you can go through to check the last 10 alarms to know what happened on the panel. After checking your event, how to go back to the main menu, you press this up and down button simultaneously and you have the icon displaying again. Then you need to have the icon that looks like a home symbol at the center of the panel by pressing this button. Then when the home is at the center, it enlarges. Then you press your mark, which is the auto button to take your panel back to home. Now, let's talk about the common shutdown symbol that we do have on this panel. The most common alarm here is the spanner and oil symbol. This is what you have when your engine is due for service and you have the backlight on down. This alarm will not show you a red light blinking because it's an action alarm that tells you that this engine is due for service. It's not a shutdown alarm and action needs to be done. Then the other common alarm you can have on your panel is when you have low oil pressure. When you have a low oil pressure, you have a symbol like an oil can displaying at the right side of your panel. It always comes with the red light blinking. It's a shutdown alarm. When a low oil pressure is present, you are not expected to start the engine. Anytime you see this alarm, your engine must be inspected by a trained technician. The other alarms you can have on the panel is the high coolant temperature alarm, which shows like F and have a symbol under it. When you have this alarm, it's to tell you that there is a high coolant on your engine and the engine needs to be inspected before you put it back into operation. Once you find your alarm, you need to know if it's a shutdown alarm or like a warning alarm. Example of a warning alarm can be overload shutdown. Overload shutdown will show you a arrow up. 
Let me cite an example of overload shutdown here, what you will experience. It will shut down by showing you this symbol and the red line will be blinking. What you need to do is to reduce your load and clear the alarm and start the engine back. So these are the common alarm for your engines. Anytime you find the alarm, you are not expected to just start the engine back. Contact your local dealer for a technician to have your engine inspected. Visit our YouTube channel, Mantra Group, for more how-to series videos. Thank you.